movement it seems like the simplest thing in the world our bodies are designed to run jump and manipulate objects movements start in the mother's womb fetal movements are the muscular movements of the developing baby inside mother's womb it includes rolling kicking walking playing with his hands and feet umbilical cord and so on health gets better with movements by movement we strengthen our muscles which improves stability balance and coordination movement affects everything our respiration circulation digestion our sleep our immunity and everything in the body movement is essential for learning and it improves brain's capacity and function In this segment we present different types of mobility as well as assistive devices and adaptations that helps a person to evolve his mobility. We are sharing videos of our students at Vidya Sagar and some of the beneficiaries that we work with in the rural communities through our community based rehabilitation program. In these videos we can visualize the improvement in their mobility skills. In the first video in the mobility domain we are going to focus on the floor mobility. In this video we would be showing different adaptations and customized devices on creeping and crawling. Mobility in a child starts with rolling over. In creeping the child raises his head and moves forward. In this mobility the strength in hands and hips start to develop. For children who cannot creep by themselves, a simple adaptation on scooter board can be given to move independently on the floor. In crawling, we use different adaptations and assistive devices to help the child to learn to crawl effectively. We can see the use of cloth cradle and other types of crawlers in training to crawl. We can see some of the adapted crawlers being used in this video. Here we can see the creative use of movements with available resources. A 
In next video, we would be presenting mobility in sitting, different types of wheelchairs and some adaptations that could be done on wheelchair to achieve maximum functional independence. Sitting is basically a posture to do functions like study, work, travel, play, relax and so on. We sit on swings, vehicles, toys and different furniture to perform these functions. Wheelchair is one of the most commonly used assistive devices to promote mobility and enhance quality of life for people who have difficulty in walking. It can open up new world for the user to participate in social activities, sports and recreation which leads to independence, better health and quality of life. There are different types of wheelchairs based on the type of disability, daily needs, lifestyle, comfort and price. A power wheelchair moves with the help of a battery operated electric motor and it comes with joystick to manure the wheelchair. Manual wheelchair can be propelled by self or by a tender. There are wheelchairs that can be operated only with one hand. This is a tilt in space wheelchair. The seat and backrest can be tilted backwards. As the wheelchair is tilted backwards, the hips and knees remains at 90 degrees. In this wheelchair, the backrest alone can be tilted backwards. This could be a good comfortable position for them to relax. These wheelchairs also have lateral side support and straps that ensure correct posture. Extra harness or chest strap can be used for people who require extra support. For persons who have difficulty in holding their head upright, use of neck collars help. There are different types of neck collars that are available. Soft collar can be made by filling thermocol beans into a sack which is long and stitched in cylindrical shape. This wheelchair has an additional provision of standing up facility. So the person can stand up to do certain functions. To use a wheelchair effectively, the environment should be accessible. Use of ramps in buildings and public places helps wheelchair user to access all places.
An accessible community is barrier free and it doesn't limit anyone's participation in everyday life. This benefits people with disabilities, their families, friends, carers as well as senior citizens. To make their own space more disabled friendly, houses and buildings can have customized lifts and stair elevators. Wheelchair lifts are great way to help people with disabilities, injuries or the elderly in and out of their homes. They come in different styles and sizes. They allow easier mobility. A wheelchair accessible vehicle allows a wheelchair user to stay in his or her wheelchair while traveling. Good posture support is needed while traveling. A specialized car seat gives good support to the trunk and head. The harness or strap provides security. An easy to install swivel seat mechanism can be fitted under the bucket seat of the car. This is useful for wheelchair user to do transition from car to wheelchair with minimum effort. Wheelchair lifts or ramps can be used to make a car wheelchair accessible. Certain types of cars can be modified in such a way that the wheelchair user can sit on his wheelchair inside the car. A wheelchair lift is designed to raise a wheelchair and its user to overcome a step or a barrier. Cars can be modified by using hand controls to drive. Two wheelers can be modified by fitting sidecar, extra wheels, adapting foot controls to hand controls and clamping arrangements for carrying persons aids or crutches etc. Here, the bike is modified in such a way that the wheelchair user can sit on his wheelchair and ride. Adaptations are done to open and close the ramp by the user himself. The goal of inclusion is the participation of people with disabilities in community and the opportunity to live and exist as contributing members of the community while being valued for their abilities and uniqueness.
there are times where the natural independent mobility is more reliable and faster than an assistive device Balloon tires of the beach wheelchair will help the wheelchairs roll over the sand and easily take them till the sea and enjoy the waves. In this video, we are going to watch assistive devices and some adaptations that aids in walking. Walking is one major milestone in development. While learning to walk, many skills develop walking involves balance and confidence there is a challenge of learning to coordinate step without falling there are different types of push walkers which can assist in walking as they learn to walk create a safe environment to walk Walking with others is an enjoyable social occasion. Many children with cerebral palsy uses an ankle foot orthosis on their legs while walking. It helps to provide a more normal gait pattern by positioning joints in proper alignment and by reducing spasticity. Adaptations can be made using locally available resources. Based on the person's need and ability, appropriate walking aid is chosen. If there is greater balance issue and weakness then walkers and rollators are used. Here the child is using a posterior walker. This is a trunk support walker. When the child needs more support to walk this walker can be used. This is a rollator. When the child has better stability and control, this kind of forward rollator can be given. When the child feels tired, this rollator allows the child to sit and rest for a while. When the child needs more support on the trunk and support for grip, this kind of anterior trunk support walker can be given. As the balance and strength improves, then elbow crutches or sticks can be used. Adaptations can be done at home to make walking more functional. For persons with visual impairment, visual adaptations like high contrast would help. Floor markings, tactile floor and non-skid flooring 
will help persons with visual impairment while walking. Walking helps improve physical and emotional health. Creative adaptations add more fun to it. Once the child learns to walk, then it should be incorporated into the functional routine. Movement is an outlet for creativity and imagination. Through movements, children learn about their body and themselves. They develop skills they need for studying, work and also build confidence. Exercises and physical activity can improve physical and emotional well-being. There are many ways movement can positively impact a person's mindset. Physical activity or movement Release stress and anxiety, enhance self-confidence and body image, and create healthier sleeping habits. The more the body moves, the more feel-good hormones are released from brain. Happiness at work is the feeling that a person really enjoy about what they do and they are proud of themselves. They enjoy people being around, thus they have a better performance. 